So guys, in this part of uh, e-commerce dashboard, we will add routing in React JS. So first question is, what is routing? When we want to make many pages in our application, like we want to add home page, about us page, profile page, logout, login page, that time we need routing. So for that, we will add a simple router npm package. After that, we will create a header file. We will uh, add links. Uh, links are like a edge tag so that uh, on that click we can open the different component like a different page and at the last we will add the routers also so let's start with the first point and uh, let's uh, add the npm package for routing so let's simply put here npm i react router dom and this package will help us to add complete routing in our application so now let's uh, jump on the second point and let's create a file for uh, header so i am putting here the file name is nav.js so let me just simply add here react so let me import it import react from react and now we can make our component let's take a const nav and it will be a functional component and inside it what we can do here we can just return a statement with the div and inside it uh, within a moment we will add some links and all but first of all let's add simple text let's say header file or something and now let's export it so let me just export default nav right so now we can import it in our application so let me app.js so let's import nav from nav and obviously we can also use it uh, as a tag because this is a component now let's check the output so here we can see that the header file is loaded in our application all right so now let's add the links so how we can add the links here for that we have to use here link tag which will be we will import from react router dom but for but before that we have to make a wrapper for our whole application so that we can use the routes in our application right so let me just import it first we don't need this logo so i am just uh, removing it so now let's simply use import browser router from react router dom right and we need to just make a wrapper around our application so we can just uh, make this router as a wrapper all right so now we can add here the links on our header page file so again we need to import links so let's just simply put here import link from react router dom and uh, let me take a ul and ally so that we can just make a list and inside it we can take that links and they link exactly work with the like uh, anchor tag but keep in mind don't use here anchor tag if you use anchor tag actually uh, they will basically refresh your application right and these links will not refresh your application so let's provide here a link to it so by default i am providing here blank for first page and uh, then let's say put here products right now let's see what we are getting on our application so this is our first link so we can add some more links also like for add update and all so let me just add a second link for add product update link for update product 
now we can provide here log out and we can add here profile also here we will show the user profile so now these are working fine here you can see that even but there is a nothing to load here second thing uh, I will just make a complete style for this header in the next video but for a moment I am just making the align in a single line so let's go with the you can see that uh, ul and add a class so I am putting here class namely is like uh, header ul and now let me add this style inside our app.js so let me make a one change here actually I just want to put here nav ul because uh, this is basically inside the nav file so that we can identify that this CSS will basically belong to that component right so let me just simply put here this class uh, then we can add here ally and let's just add here a display inline block and now let's check what we are getting here the old things are in line with the single line so now let's add some more style let's say we can simply add here padding so let me add here 10 pixel padding and now this is much better and I want to just align them in the left side so we don't need this uh, app text align center this is the by default style which is coming with the create react app so now that is okay and the uh, remaining style we will do in the next video otherwise this video will gonna very lengthy all right so now everything is fine but we want to just add some content on these links so I want to show the different component on uh, the home page on the on the add product and update product and all so for that we need to create a complete component that is not possible in this video that we will do in the upcoming video but we can create a route for them now we just created the link so now let's create the route and we will add just small html for the different different pages i can show you how we can do that so let's remove this h1 tag we don't need it and let's import two more things first one is uh, routes this is not uh, route prof this is basically a routes and uh, then we can also import here router route and now let me add here routes inside this uh, routes wrapper we will just only add our uh, route right you cannot put any other things inside it so let me just add here route path on which path it, it will open it will open on the root path then element so element on that element we will add a complete component but as I told you this is not possible in that video otherwise this video will, uh, will gonna around 30 to 40 minutes right so what we can do here we can just simply add here uh, h1 tag directly and it will behave like this is a uh, you can see that a small component so let me put here product component all right and now we can just close this route after that we can do the same thing for other routes also like for add i am just putting here add component route update update component route logout so even we don't need a component for logout but for a moment I am just putting here logout right because we will directly uh, just clear our cache and all and uh, it will just directly go with the login page but still that is okay for a moment last one is profile and we can just simply put here profile component so now let's check the output so whenever i'm just clicking on a home page 
or you can say that products it will say that this is the product component add product update product logout and profile so that is it for this video and guys in next video we will learn that how we can create style for our header and obviously in the upcoming videos we will complete this project so please don't forget to subscribe my channel please provide your review comments and like this video also